Hi, good day. Welcome to Phil Korean TV Math Corner. In this video, you will learn how to perform two or more operations on whole numbers without exponents and grouping symbols. Let's take this problem as an example. 63 divided by 7 plus 5 times 2 minus 6. In this problem, there are four operations. So, how are we going to get the answer? To get the answer for this problem, we need to follow the MDAS rule. MDAS, M stands for multiplication, D, division, A, addition, and S is subtraction. Sa MDAS rule, uunahin natin pag-solve ang multiplication or division. Itong dalawang ito, ang multiplication at division, equal ang rank nila. Kaya, isosolve natin ito ng left to right. Kung ano yung nauna sa kanila galing sa kaliwa, yun ang una nating isosolve. After multiplying or dividing, next step is to add or subtract. Ang addition at subtraction ay equal din ang kanilang rank. Kaya, ang pag-solve sa kanila ay left to right. Kung ano yung nauna sa kanilang dalawa, yun ang una nating isosolve. Okay, ngayon isolve natin ang problem gamit ang MDAS rule. Dito sa problem, ang uunahin nating isolve ay itong division at ang multiplication. Dahil hindi naman sila magkasunod, merong addition sa kanilang pagitan. Kaya, pwede nating isabay kunin ang kanilang answer. Okay, 63 divided by 7 equals 9. At itong 5 times 2 equals 10. Kaya, yung answer ay magiging 9 plus 10 minus 6. Okay, Ang natirang operations na lang ay dalawa, addition at subtraction. Ang gagawin natin ay left to right. Ibig sabihin, mag-add muna tayo bago mag-subtract. So, 9 plus 10 equals 19. Kaya, magiging 19 minus 6. At eto na yung last nating isosolve. 19 minus 6 equals 13. So, ang answer sa problem na ito ay 13. Next problem, 30 divided by 2 times 4 minus 8 plus 9. Okay, isolve natin ang problem na ito. Dito, magkasunod ang division at multiplication. Ang gagawin natin, left to right ang pag-solve. Magdi-divide muna tayo. 30 divided by 2 equals 15. Kaya magiging 15 times 4 minus 8 plus 9. Next, magmultiply tayo. 15 times 4 equals 60. So yung answer ay magiging 60 minus 8 plus 9. Dalawang operation na lang yung natira, subtraction and addition. Ang gagawin natin, left to right ang pag-solve. Magmamainus muna tayo bago mag-plus. Okay, 60 minus 8 equals 52. Kaya magiging 52 plus 9. At eto na yung last nating isosolve. 52 plus 9 equals 61. So, the answer is 61. Last problem, 18 minus 12 divided by 6 plus 7. Okay, dito may tatlong operations. Ang una nating isosolve ay division. 12 divided by 6 equals 2. Kaya yung answer ay magiging 18 minus 2 plus 7. Next, left to right na yung pag-solve dahil subtraction at addition na lang yung 
natitirang operations. So, mag-subtract muna tayo bago mag-add. 18 minus 2 equals 16. Kaya, naging 16 plus 7. Then, isolve natin ito. 16 plus 7 equals 23. So, the answer for this problem is 23. That's all for this video. Sana may natutunan kayo sa video ito. See you next time. God bless!